What is going on guys? Welcome to the 12th Fundamental Investing with Use Programming Tutorial video. Where we left off, we were visiting this Quandle.com and pulling financial data. Um, and now that we have the data, we want to organize it into an array and then we're going to use that array and graph from that array. So first step, we need to create these arrays and then start ordering things within them. So the first thing we need to do is make the arrays. So I'm going to call this net income R for net income array and it'll be empty for now. Then rev array and then ROC array. <clears throat> now the next thing we want to do is scroll down and we want to instead of printing these out here, I'm going to we're going to change up this array a little bit. So um, so I'm just going to actually delete all of this and we'll come over here and now what we're going to say is split and I for split net income it's going to equal net oops net income dot split by new line because if you remember uh, the output of this text was you know line by line so first we want to split it up by an, each new line and then if you recall the first line of text was descriptive text so we don't really want that text um, and the last line was an empty line so we don't want that line either so with that in mind we'll say we'll print um, net income and now what we're going to do is use a for loop so we're going to say for each and I for each net income in split and I and then we're going to use the first element or the even though it's not the first element, right? That's actually one means number two and zero means number one. But one, two, the negative first element. So this will go all the way to the negative first element. So it will go all the way and stop before that blank line. Um, so now we'll say print each and I. And then what we're going to do is append it to our uh, net income array. So net income array, with two P's, append, and we want to append um, each and I. So now we'll scroll down. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to say, actually, let's print like a little divider here. And the next thing we want to do is split rev, so it's split up revenue line basically, equals revenue dot split. And again, we're going to split by a new line. And then we'll print out uh, revenue. And now we're going to say for each rev in split rev. And again, same parameters as before for the exact same reason as before. Um, print each rev and then rev array dot append each rev and then again we'll print out one of these little dividers Come down and now it's going to be split roc equals roc dot split Again, by new line, then we'll say print return on capital, and then we'll say for each ROC in split ROC, um, and again, one to the negative first element, print each ROC, and ROC array dot append each ROC. Now uh, we've probably got a typo somewhere in here so it might not work but uh, let's go ahead and save that run it see what we got and it turns out we did not have any typos. Wow that's like a first. So it connected and you can see it's it's still printed out everything just like we remember it doing before. Um, no more empty line either. What? 
And even though we're not seeing it being printed out, everything was appended to uh, these. Each each thing was appended to its you know specific array. So now what we can do uh, is call that array, turn it into a NumPy array. Then we can use the date that's already in date format, convert it to matplotlib mdates format. Then we can graph it in date format. Then we can put it together and everything and make an epic uh, investing program. So anyways, uh, in the next video, we're going to be discussing uh, moving this into a NumPy array. And maybe if we have time in that next video without running it too long, we'll also uh, go ahead and just generate a graph out of it. So anyway, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you for all your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.